My name is Narayan Sundarajan, and I'm an 8th grader living in Shaker Heights, Ohio, a suburb of Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland has many interesting things to offer. Where I'm standing is near Horseshoe Lake, an artificial lake that was built by the Shakers, a religious group who lived in the area in the 1800s. There are many interesting things around Cleveland, such as the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which houses a lot of memorabilia for musicians. These include Elvis Presley's clothes and Bruce Springsteen's wardrobe. Cleveland is also home to the Playhouse Square Complex, the second largest theater complex in the United States. Also in Cleveland is the Cleveland Orchestra, one of the best orchestras in the world. Lake Erie, one of the Great Lakes, is right by our doorstep. With so many things to do, Cleveland is one of the best places to be. If I could trade places with an explorer or world leader, I would pick Meriwether Lewis, the captain of the Lewis and Clark expedition. I would trade places with him because his expedition introduced us to so many Native American tribes, as well as show us the unfamiliar geography of the region. His explorations also paved the way for Western expansions in the future. Do you know where the largest lake on an island in a lake on an island is? The answer is Crater Lake on Volcano Island in Lake Tall on the island of Luzon in the Philippines. I studied for the bee by making a study guide that has essential information about each country and also looking at atlases and other study materials, like the GOB app on the iPad and iPhone. I also received a lot of help from my friends at Shaker, who quizzed me like there was no tomorrow. My family also quizzed me, with my mom and brother asking me questions about anything whenever possible. If I were to get a free plane ticket to a place of my choice, I would choose Italy. Being a Latin student, I have grown to love Roman culture, history and culture, and the sites in Italy show just that, preserved perfectly. I would start in Rome, visiting places such as the Parthenon and Colosseum, as well as the Sistine Chapel. I would then go south to the ruins of Pompeii and see Mount Vesuvius as well. Then I would travel north to Venice and see the Piazza San Marco. Finally, I would go northwest and see the Alps. Someone put me in charge of the world for a day. The first problem I would tackle would be to establish a committee for world leaders to discuss the difficult task of reducing climate change. If we don't stop climate change, within the next 100 years, island countries throughout the world will be in severe danger of losing their landmasses.